Well, hello, everybody, and it seems extraordinary that here we are at the end of another half term, and a half term, of course, where we have all been locked down for its duration. And however good our remote learning is, and we're very proud of it, and I know you are too, but however good it is, of course, we know that it's not the same as on-site teaching and learning. And that's what we all want to get back to. Um, and we very much hope the next half term we might begin to see the return to on-site teaching and learning. That's very much what we're preparing for, a staggered return of pupils back to the school site. We're ready for it when it's safe and proper for that to start to happen. So watch this space, but let's hope that next half term brings us that change. I want to first thank everybody who's been involved in the e-safety and internet safety week. It's been a great success. I want to particularly thank Mr McStravick, our head of digital innovation, but all members of the junior and senior leadership teams who put together a really uh, great package of activities across the course of this week. Really interesting. So, so my thanks. And of course, dovetailing into that has been our well-being um, focus as well. And you'll see in the bulletin this week a well-being booklet which I hope that you'll enjoy reading and, and, and reflecting upon. So, so thanks for all of those activities too. And on the subject of well-being, uh, of course, the upcoming week of uh, Exiat break does give everybody the opportunity to have some non-screen time. And I, particularly to the pupils across the school of whatever age, I do strongly encourage, urge you please, to um, have a whole week where you prioritise not being on a screen or on a device, enjoying um, outside the fresh air, uh, games that don't uh, involve a, a screen. I think it's so important for us all to take the opportunity of a week's break away from screen. So let's all try and get behind that um, within the context of well-being. Uh, a few, uh, few more thank yous from this week. I want to thank Mr Holmes, who delivered two sessions uh, alongside Mr Brewer and Mr O'Dwyer for Year 11 and Year 13 students. So it is a time of great anxiety for Year 11 and Year 13. There are still so many unknowns about what the exam boards want from us and from your children um, over the course of these next few weeks and months in preparation for the public exams. And we know they're going to want much more than they wanted last year. We know that, um, but we don't quite know what that's going to look like yet. But I hope that those sessions were reassuring. I know Mr Holmes and his team have been working really hard scenario planning and thinking about how we can position those students in the best possible place to get the really excellent exam results that we know that they are capable of achieving and should be awarded. I also want to thank Mr Murphy and Ms Rogers for their uh, presentation to pre-prep on independent learning and how we can get the very best out of independent learning amongst our very youngest pupils. So my thanks to them. And I also want to thank the admissions team. And I know this doesn't apply to everybody, but they have worked incredibly hard to get into a position where we can send out all of the offers for, for 11 plus and 13 plus and various junior school entry points as well uh, over the course of this week and, and, the, and the weeks that precede it. So my thanks to them. There will be a few changes when we come back after the Exiat break. So I just want to alert you to those. First of all, a couple of staff changes. So we thank Mr. Suze from the Design Technology Department very, very much for the years that she's given to the college. She will be leaving us at the end of uh, this half term. So we thank her. And likewise, we thank Ms. Kidderman, who has been um, a member of the MFL department uh, covering uh, maternity uh, uh, cover. Um, and we thank her very much for what she's given to the MFL department as well. Of course, all leaving staff get a full uh, valete in my end of year letter. So that will, will happen um, at that point. But my thanks at, at this juncture to them. Of course, one of the reasons for that change is that Miss McClellan is coming back from maternity leave. Uh, I know you all know this, but Miss McClellan is our DSL, our designated safeguarding lead and deputy head pastoral. She returns after... Um, after the February Exiat break. And therefore, of course, I need to thank very, very much Mrs Davies, who has done a superb job acting up and covering as DSL over these last few weeks and months. So enormous thanks to her. And in turn, to Miss Carnot Golds, who has been acting up as head of lower school and also done an excellent job. So just so we're all absolutely clear, Miss McClellan comes back as DSL and deputy head pastoral and Mrs Davies returns to head of lower school. And my thanks for all of those people for the interim arrangements and making it work so successfully. Another change that will happen after we get back from Exiat break is the role of cameras 
in lessons. So we're not going to mandate children to turn their cameras on, but we are going to strongly encourage children to have their cameras on throughout the remote learning that happens. Um, and the reason for this is because we've trialled it with the sixth form and we know it has a materially positive impact on the learning and on the teaching that takes place by having the children um, visibly there in the lesson. So what I would say is if your child does not have a camera uh, device attached to their device, if perhaps you could order one, this Exiac break, that would be very, very helpful. This is mainly to the senior school students, I have to say, but it would be very helpful because we really want to try and encourage as many people as possible to have their cameras turned on during remote learning. Um, when we return, our first week back, our theme of the week is going to be confidence. Um, so every half term, we take one of our college values as, as a weekly theme, and, and this, this half term upcoming is uh, we're going to take confidence. So, so there'll be a whole range of activities looking at that particular college value. Um, so uh, also over the exit outbreak, and you'll see it in the bulletin, there are a couple of non-screen based opportunities for your children, two really exciting competitions, one all associated with climate change. And Juanita, who is a student who chairs our um, ECOSOC at the school, she's written a letter to, to, to the children about that, how they can get involved with that competition, the U United Nations Climate Change Competition. So that's an exciting non-screen based thing to do. And there is also an art based competition uh, where we're looking at designing a logo or a mural for the sixth form centre, that new sixth form centre that comes to us in September. Um, there's a design competition there and I believe a financial prize associated with that as well. So a nice uh, couple of things there that the, the students can get involved with over the exit break that are non-screen based. And I think that's it. The only other thing I wanted to say is a big happy Chinese New Year or Lunar New Year, Happy New Year, particularly to all of our Chinese friends. Um, both in China and also here in the United Kingdom, a really special day for them and an unusual day given um, the fact that, of course, we're in the middle of this global pandemic. But a very happy new year to all of our Chinese friends, wherever they are. And to everybody, well done for these last few weeks. It hasn't been easy um, to have another protracted period of, of, of being uh, locked down, remote learning. I know that. But I think we've made the very best of it that we, we are able to in the circumstances. I think we all know it's going to continue for a bit longer. But let us all just hope that uh, next half term really does signify the gradual return of life back into the uh, Stansted Road buildings. Have a very, very good exit outbreak. break.